Hey, hey, you guys. Uh, today I'm going to show you some Sedition Wars. Uh, I got it some months ago, actually, uh, for a really good price. It was uh, uh, like some kind of a sale on it, I guess, on a store in Sweden. So I really had to get it because it was very cheap in compared to what it are, uh, how the original cost is. So. And it's completely new, so that is really nice. Um, uh, it was first on Kickstarter uh, with the Cool Minion Knot and Studio McVeigh, uh, as it's called. Uh, so they released this game, I think it was earlier last year. And uh, it is a kind of a Space Hulk kind of a game with like you send out a, tro a, a group of soldiers, uh, special troopers, and so to check out what is uh, going on with uh, uh, this uh, station, this um, uh, like uh, science station that is called Alabaster, I think, so it's called Battle for Alabaster, this, so and uh, the soldiers are meeting up with a infectious uh, monsters that are called the Strain, that are like uh, uh, technological um, a technological illness or something like a that are uh, feasting on humans and so on and turning them into killing them turning them into like uh, technological zombies and so on and they evolve to bigger technolo technological things uh, so we are going, ha going to have a look at it I have already put out all the stuff from the box and um, so it will be easier. We have the backside here, uh, and here you can see the minutes you get, and it is like 50 minutes you get in this. So quite many minutes, and they are in like war gaming standard, and not like the usual like board game standard that you see often. That is not as good as the normal thing. Uh, so you get like bases to them to the soldiers, you get some dice, you get some counters uh, that you're putting on people that because soldiers can be infected and so on, so you put these under their bases, the ones that are go ongoing uh, to get infected by these, these are like nanospores, you're using it in the game to infect people and you're moving it around to either infect or spawn more strain zombies and so on, or evolving them. And uh, here we have some more of the minis, some of the special, I think it's here, it is the heroes and so on. Some more stuff, here we have some special strain monsters that are a little bit bigger and more dangerous than the normal ones. And here we have a big pile of Brain, monsters, zombies and so on that I will paint up in the future and do you get the stats cards to all of the different characters and monsters in the game with uh, two sides on every one on uh, every card so you can see some of the soldiers and things that you get uh, Defensive drones and stuff here. Uh, Samaritan grenadiers. Uh, that is some normal soldiers. And as you can see, this is how about the standard look at what they painted it like. It was a kind of a white color scheme. I did mine a little bit different, or quite a big difference. But we will have a look at soon. More soldiers, more soldiers, more soldiers. And uh, here we have some strain stuff. Grendel, Grendel, a bigger monster, another brimstone, Shife Witch, Quasimodo, have like a cannon on his back, stuff, uh, Stalker, like Revenant are the normal guys, or like the easiest guys to kill. Or so on. Have some different styles there too. And then um, 
So that is about that. Um, let's see here. You get, of course, a rule book to it. Uh, I think it's about 60 pages, but many of the pages are just like uh, a campaign. So I think it was a little bit over 30 pages of rules, so not so much. I have read them through and it seems to be quite interesting. Full color, really nice, the vanguard here you can see, some fluff and so on. A really lovely stuff here. Show some tactics and so on. Really nice rulebook there. And of course you get tiles, you get the gaming tiles. Uh, that is, uh, that you move on, so you put this things together, they are they are double sided so you can use them for different scenarios uh, you can make up your own scenarios too so they give you like guidelines for that and uh, of course uh, there is the campaign that are doing specific things and when they it is like the store when they meet the strain for the first time so I think this store can be quite cool, the campaign and so on, like you move on, you have different objectives and so on. Try to keep up so this, the, you're not getting overrun by the strain. Let's see how many there was. One, two, three, four, five double-sided uh, uh, tiles. Yes. And uh, then you get the counters also. Here you have different counters like for explosions, grenades, and uh, I think there are like for wounds and so on too. And uh, for the drones and everything like that. And here you have something that I guess are putting some tiles together down here, a hallway, some kind. They have one side, these things, and there is another one here. That have some, I think they are, no they are different here. So, blast markers and so on. So, that is about what you get in the box, guys. Uh, and it's some really nice components. And uh, yeah, they've done a really great work with this. So, next thing, I'm going to show you the uh, painted uh, uh, like soldiers that I've done. I've done like the core soldiers and so on, the special ones and special soldiers, special troopers or what you call them. Uh, with the different weapons, so uh, I'm going to show that then, yes. So here we have the soldiers and I painted them in a like... Uh, I got inspired by the PC game Deus Ex Human Revolutions, which is a really great PC game, by the way. But the, like the ongoing color scheme in that is like the technological like future kind of it is yellow lights like everywhere or so on like that is going through the whole game so i wanted to get that into these soldiers um, so they are pretty much dry brush highlighted with uh, yellows and orange colors and so the same with the uh, nice bases you get detailed bases too that is really nice so I used like color sources that are having this yellow light and so on that are illuminating the floors. So yeah, let's have a closer look then maybe. Uh, here we have one of the heavy weapon guys. I wanted the more technological heavy weapons to have like uh, a white color to it. This is not a flamer. I think that it is some kind of a else some kind of gravity thingy. I think it has a weird name, I don't really remember it, and uh, yeah, the armors look really nice, uh, actually they are real detailed, and there are plenty of uh, girls in the pack too, so, and their visors are really cool, their helmets, all the weapons are really nice, and they are having quite good poses and so on, some really good detail, and yeah, I really like this like tactical kind of look they have to them, like special uh, elite soldiers that are going into a fight. They, yeah, they look really nice. Here we have another special weapon, it is some kind of a grenade launcher I think. 
what it looks like. So yeah, uh, and here we have another different weapon. This is a girl without a helmet, and I had to give her some blue hair there too, blue and black, blue and black hair. So yeah. Let's see. Here we have one with pink hair. The only one that are ones that are having like kind of silly color to their hairs. So like here we have a blonde one. Yeah, it took quite some time to make these guys actually. So like I kind of like how this guy turned out with his grayish bluish hair, and you can see that he have like beard stubble or so in his face so yeah lovely models and god the strain models seem to be quite many so yeah that will be an adventure to paint I guess I hope it will go faster than what it did with these guys but because yeah it took quite some time to paint this up and uh, yeah I really like how the lightning turned out, uh, no, the light turned out on the bases. Uh, like you can see some small lamps on the floors and some of them that are illuminating the floors, the bases. So yeah, I'm quite glad of how, how they turned out. So I hope you guys liked it and uh, um, there will be more of this in the future so thank you for me and have a good one